Hello friends, this is Russian Toys here. And finally, after waiting for almost two weeks, in today's video, we're going to be setting up the Marina Easy Care Beta Kit. And before you go crazy, I'm not going to put a beta in it. I've found something else. So let's get started. As always, the first step when you set up a new aquarium is washing everything. As you can see, I've already done that with the aquarium, as you can see the water droplets in there. So just make sure you wash everything so that there's no dust or other you know stuff in the aquarium that could end up harming the fish. And then the next step is to put in gravel into the aquarium. Now the Easy Care Beta Kit does come with gravel, this really big black gravel. And I don't really like that, so I want to put some other gravel in there. And I'm going to use this natural uh, smaller gravel, and I'm going to use some of the bigger pieces kind of as decorative pieces. So, before I put that in the aquarium though, I gotta wash it, so let's start with that. For washing aquarium gravel, it's always a good idea to use a separate container. So, I just have this other, you know, critter keeper, nothing's fancy. And I just poured the gravel into it as much as I think I'm going to need. So now all I got to do is clean that with some tap water. You don't need to use the chlorinated water to wash gravel. This is just to get all the dust off it. And um, if you add the chlorinated water to your aquarium afterwards, you don't need to worry about the little, you know, couple of milliliters of water that are left over on this aquarium gravel. Because I do plan on putting some plants into this aquarium, I'm going to make sure I get a relatively thick layer of the gravel at the bottom so the plant's roots have somewhere to go. Also, this is a plexiglass aquarium, I think, or some other sort of plastic, so you want to be careful when you add the gravel that you don't scratch the sides of the aquarium as they will scratch very easily. So, to that, instead of pouring in all the gravel from this big container, I'm just going to grab little handfuls, I mean bigger than that, and add them to the aquarium, and that way I'm careful not to scratch any of the sides. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to be like right back because that's a boring procedure and you don't need to see the whole thing. After adding the gravel, it's time to add um, any other sort of decoration that you want to put the, in the aquarium. Because it's such a small aquarium, I would go easy on the decorations if I were you. You also want to do this before you add the water because once you've added the water, putting your hand into the aquarium will raise the water level drastically. And you're just going to have the whole water overflowing everywhere and that's going to be really annoying. So. I'm going to be putting uh, some decorations into this aquarium. I've got a little skull and the skull has a little hole in the back so the critter that I'm putting into this aquarium um, is going to have a little cave to hide in which is good. And then I'm going to put in some of these uh, black rocks and I'm going to put them around plants just to make it look a little nicer. Decorations of course just like the gravel you're going to have to wash as well so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to run to the sink real quick and wash some of these rocks and the skull. After adding any decorations that you want to add, you also want to add the plants while you still don't have any water in the aquarium. Same reason as for adding the decorations when it's dry, it just makes it easier to plant them and you don't have to deal with the water overflowing out of the aquarium. So I have some plants for this aquarium that I'm just going to add right now and I'll show you what it looks like after that. Alright and here are the plants. I just used my handy uh, planting tongs to plant them. These guys right here made by oh, Fluval. They were expensive when I first got them but it's not like they ever break and they're definitely a worthwhile investment. So as for plants I have a little java fern at the front here and my hope is that grows very very slowly because java fern can get quite large and I don't really know what this plant is. We've had it at the pet store for a while. It doesn't get any larger than this because it hasn't in the last couple of months. And it was just kind of hiding in the back of our planted aquarium. So I yanked that out and let's see how it does in here. All right, I decided to throw in a couple more of the black rocks just to like accent the plants, I guess. So now the aquarium is pretty much ready. All I got to do is add the water and the fish. So 
to um, add the fish in a small aquarium like this, you can't really eliminate the fish because there's just not enough water. You can't really float the bag in this aquarium. So what I like to do with small aquariums like this one is um, add the fish with the water that the fish came in and then top off any water that needs to be topped off with some clean tap water. So I'm going to add the fish and the water, which is going to go about probably to the halfway point, and then I'm just going to mix some clean fresh water, fill it up to the top, and then we're going to talk about why I chose the fish that I chose. Alright, so I'm going to pour slowly, so not to disturb any of the beautiful aquarium I just set up, and I'm going to try to not get the fish in right away because there's not, not water in the aquarium yet, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, here's the little fish with his aquarium water. Now I just gotta fill the rest of the tank up with some clean tap water. Alright, and here we have the fully set up aquarium. And I think for once I actually did a fairly decent job of making it, trying to make it at least look nice. And if you're wondering what fish species I choose, I chose, sorry, for going in there, it's a, a male badis badis. So I know it's kind of a weird name. Also, they're also known as the chameleon fish because they can change colors pretty rapidly. Um, and the reason I chose this fish, there's a, there's a couple of reasons. One is that uh, we had them at the pet store. The other is that these are really shy and timid fish that often get outcompeted by other fish for food. So they actually do better in an aquarium with not a lot of fish. And we had them in an aquarium with quite a couple of fish at the pet store. And if you look at this guy, try to zoom in, he's uh, fairly skinny. So you can kind of see at the back there that he doesn't look like he's been getting a lot of food. And that's because he hasn't been. So at the store, all the other fish are out competing him for food. So I decided, you know what? Sure, this aquarium is too small for him. They require about a 5 to a 10 gallon aquarium for a, a trio of them. But at least he'll be able to get his food here and live a pretty decent life in this aquarium. So yes, the aquarium's too small, just as it is too small for a betta fish, but the reason I chose this fish is because I figured he's gonna either die at the pet store hungry, or he's gonna live his life in a, an aquarium that's a little bit too small here, but at least get the food that he needs to survive. So that's my aquarium setup. That's gonna just go right next to the shrimp vase on my desk, so it's gonna hopefully look pretty decent there and get enough light that the plants do well. The plants are going to provide oxygen for the fish, they're going to help keep the water clean, and then obviously I'm going to stay on top of water changes because this aquarium does not have a filter. If you want to see a kind of review of this aquarium, I actually already uploaded one. That was my last video I did. I'm going to provide a link in the description. I'm also going to post pictures of this aquarium on Instagram, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, again, there's going to be a link in the description with my Instagram account. I think I have like 113 followers right now, so it'd be great if some more of you guys would follow me on Instagram, check out some cool pictures, because I'm a little bit more active on there than on YouTube. It's hard to uh, frequently upload videos with my schedule, so I hope you guys understand. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, it's been a lot of fun making this video. Designing this tank was actually a really cool experience. I like doing that, the little, little aquariums, trying to make them look as natural as possible. I really enjoy doing that, so this was fun. Even though it's late, it's like 10 o'clock at this point, I really enjoyed it. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed yet, it would be great if you subscribe. I try to upload new videos fairly frequently. I'm failing miserably at it right now, but hey, what can you do? That's just how my life is going. Otherwise, like the video. If you have a question, comment on the video. And with that, I guess I'll see you guys next time.